never get enough track oh! Oh! Yo, that was me. Not a sound effect. That's me. Let's go. I got too much energy today. Whoa. Almost too much for the podcast. Whoa. That's not a thing. Whoa. Let's f- go. <laughs> Bro. Elbow in the rim today. Nine nine baby rim. Should I film it from my backside? Because it's you can see my arm go all the way in. Or should I film it from the front? So when I hang off the elbow, I could show off the shirt with the dunk life. I don't know. That's what's going through my head. What else is going through my head? Coffee. Caffeine is going right through my blood doing a fucking hemoglobin style. I don't even know, dude. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Dunk Life Daily on July 25th. 72519. That's today's date. We're live. We're now. We're here. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're feeling with energy. That's what we're about. I don't know if I have more to say today, but what I do know is that I'm fueled. When I take multiple days off, I dunked last night, but when I take three or more days off, which I did, and just kind of primed myself last night, which I did, I have extra energy. I have too much, but it feels amazing. Let's go. Welcome to the show. Welcome to what the fuck is going on. Whew. So feeling pretty good. Um, I like to max out my energy. This is the kind of t- type I like to feel. This is the way I like to feel. This is the way I like to do it because I feel like I can do make the most out of the day and I want to feel this more. Back in the day, I'm trying to stay patient and calm because I'm going to go to the gym after this. I don't think this is conducive for a podcast. Haven't said anything yet, except you feel the energy. Let's go. Have a great day. I had 17,000 dreams last night. I actually, real quick about dreams, I had like two or three recurring. I don't know if they were recurring in the past, but when I had them, they, they felt like memories, but I don't know if I had them just multiple times last night. Then I thought of a dream, like, is this one recurring? Because I, had, I was so in tune with my dreams last night that when I thought about that current dream I just had, I saw it like rewind in one flash. You know, you see like your life flash before your eyes. I've never happened to me, but the dream flashed before my eyes, before my eyes in reverse. And I'm like, whoa. And I felt like I was accessing the pages of my dream world in my brain. So that's something I'm tapping into, which is nuts. It felt like Interstellar went uh, back to spoiler alert when he was like behind the bookcase and he was like rearranging time or whatever the fuck he was in. What was he doing? That's what it felt like. I felt like I was in a different dimension of my dreams. So I'll keep you updated on that. I'm trying to lucid dream because I feel like I can do my goals in my dreams, which makes them real. You know, what's the difference between dreaming something that's like a reality and you could do anything you want and life. We don't even know the difference. So if you can do it in your dreams, you can do it in real life. I'm going to live my life like a dream that if I think I can do it, I can do it. Cause in your dream, if you're like, I can fly, you fucking fly. But it's hard to believe that in real life. Cause you're like, that's not a dream. I can't do it. But if you do believe it, you can do it. Mild psychosis is stirring and that's what it's about. It's about believing in yourself to the friggin' most and it'll happen because that's what's been happening. That's what I love. Oh my God, we're 245 in. Woo! Feeling good. What do I want to talk about today? Teach me something Thursday. That's what I wanted to talk about. A lot of times I come on here and I try to give you tips, give you dunk tips, give you training advice, all that type of stuff. But as always, I try to come up with the, the end all be all. But one thing I can, I can count on is that I want to teach you how to learn. So that way it's long-term. I can't just give you the tips, do depth jumps, do squats. It's not going to work. You have to understand what it is. So what I want to teach you is to teach yourself. You got to start learning. You got to start doing these things, get after it and start doing it. Cause when you start doing it, that's when you learn. And that's what I wish I would have told myself years ago when I started training, cause I was just trying things and I wasn't taking note of how I felt and how my body reacted. But now since I'm so in tune, you can make that long-term progress because you know what you're doing. You, you start to feel what your muscles are doing. Keep learning, keep pushing. Like for example, what does it do if I lift eight reps versus four reps? What is it doing to my muscles? It's causing like muscle damage. Some is causing muscle endurance. Some is causing muscle atrophy, whatever the hell the words are. But there's different stimulus. If you do like a thousand reps, you're going to do something than if you do two reps are super heavy, you know, it's not going to do the same thing. So understanding what that is, I think is the most valuable piece of information I can give you is that you can teach yourself. So keep teaching yourself everything you do. And it's like when you see a fork in the road up above, it's like, which one do I chant? Cho- choo, whoa, choose. You got to get up to the fork and kind of get closer to it before you decide or take one of the directions. And sometimes you got to come back and go the other way. But the point is, don't just get caught up on which one do I choose? Go try one or at least take steps towards it and start teaching yourself. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. I'm feeling fueled. I'm going to Columbia in two days. 
Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do the podcast. I do want to, I have content to produce. I have some podcasts to release next week and some other things. So I'll probably do that. I'll try to get up a podcast during the morning, some mornings, um, but no guarantees, but I'm looking forward to coming back, you know, extremely fueled. And, uh, today what I wanted to talk about, what I learned from jumping is that I'm feeling bouncier than ever. If you're just tuning in, I think I did. I actually, let me check this live really quick. Because actually, let me screen record this. This is going to take too long. Whatever. Uh, start recording. All right, we're recording. Because if I, I'm going to check my social blade myself. Um, because I think I might have hit 28k overnight. Here we go. Which would be sick. Come on. Live subscriber count. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And we did. Oh. <laughs> We jumped up like 20 subscribers. Let's go! 28K fam where we're at. So if this is your first video, which is crazy to me, I'm all over the place. But there's one thing that you can guarantee, and that's that energy, boy. And so I've been training for a long time. If you look at my old videos, those have been around. You saw the long term. I I had my outside coach and I said, I'm going to make progress. I'm going to do this. I just believed in myself. But also, I saw the steps, and you understand sometimes you have to go backwards to do it. So stay on your grind. You can do it. And now I'm finally feeling the effects, finally jumping higher than ever, which is an insane feeling because it's something I knew I could do, but to finally be in that phase is unbelievable. So my plan going forward is stay in this peak phase and freaking dunk on people. I had a putback dunk yesterday. Oh my God, that I didn't film because my phone fell off the wall. Anyway, I'm getting game dunks and it was a legit rim. I'm getting game dunk soon. That's my plan. I look forward to freaking doing it. I've been saying it forever. I got to get it filmed. I can't wait. So there's different phases of strength training. That's what my YouTube's about. It's all about the tutorials and uh, or how to dunk, how to do that. So my vlogs are insight to how I train. And if you want actual training one-on-one with me, that's where the Dunk Life memberships come in. That's level three is direct with me. I don't have time to work with everybody one-on-one. I'll answer all your questions on YouTube, but my YouTube is is filled with as much information as I can give on how to dunk. So everything I ever teach is going to be on my YouTube. So there's no shortage of content or information of how to dunk. But if you need my one-on-one training, which I think is extremely valuable and what I'm saying, how to teach yourself, that's what I do with my memberships. So I look forward to those dunk lovers and dunk lifers. And you support me if you're a dunk lifer as well, because this is my dream to help people to create content. And we're out here. That's it. Now for your guys' favorite part of the day is on this day in history, July 25th. Year 306, Constantine the First is proclaimed Roman Emperor by his troops. Can you believe that's the same world we live in? Year 306, huh? What else? Mussolini dismissed as Italian premier and arrested on the authority of King. Okay, 1943. 1997, more recent, scientists announced the first human stem cells to be cultured in a laboratory using tissue taken from aborted human embryos. Yo, in the future when AI is creating cells with the observer effect in quantum physics, we're in a simulation. I just can't wait for the proof to come out, so everything I've been saying is going to come to life. Okay, not anything else good. Let's see, we're going to uh, film. 1922, AT&T begins broadcasting. Sick. Anything else? Um, no, I don't want this. Events. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis take the stage in their first show as a comedy team. I love comedy. That's awesome. 1946. That wasn't even that long ago. Um, Let's see. Now let's go to some sport or music. I know this is your favorite part, so here we go. I know you guys love this part. 1933, first Dutch live radio concert, Duke Ellington. That jazz. 1965, Bob Dylan is booed. Sections of the crowd at Newport for performing with an electric guitar. Oh, no. Don't do that. Uh, Metallica's debut of Kill 'Em All in 1983. All right, now sports today in history. It's just crazy what things can happen on this day. So many things happen in years to come. What's going to happen next? Every day is amazing. You can make a historical event every single day. That's what I wanted to mention about these days and events. Uh, 1900, Gilbert Jessup hits his second hundred before lunch in same cricket match. What does that even mean? Nobody knows. Um, and there's nothing else in sports. Uh, 19, 1908, Bill Bowes, English cricketer. It's his birthday today. Happy, happy belated. He's dead. Okay. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, and last but not least, the dunk lifer of the day from my last podcast. Every podcast, I pick one comment that um, really stood out to me. It really fills me with that energy. And today, double checking my thing is still recording because my camera died yesterday. Come on. The dunk lifer of the day. I think I might have pinned it. Um, 
I think I hope I didn't say this already, but it's oh his name is in Hebrew. It looks like I don't really know, but it's pinned on my last video. Shout out to you, and it says I'm addicted to these videos. Very positive and helpful. Oh man, so much energy. Yes, and I love that. So thank you so much. If you want to be a dunk lifer, check my website. If you want to be a dunk lifer, other ways, you're already it. Just start training. Let's get it. You can do anything. Make the most of your day and have some energy with it. You know, feel some energy in there. All right, one more thing. By the way, toodaloo. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!